Okay, so I forgot to charge up the laptop. So my other video went off. So now I have to share this video. Oh my goodness, here I go sharing this video again. Um, let's see. I'll share to the resistance page real quick. The resistance page is a page that I run that is owned by my sister Amy and my nephew Zach. And neither one of them, I don't know, they don't post or nothing. It's all me. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, posted there. Now let's get the groups. Great, scammers are calling. Yay. Here we go. Hello? Please stop what you're doing and listen to this very important message. In the next few seconds, I'm going to give you access to some information that can absolutely change your life for the better mm. if you let it. I'm going to give you access to a short, pre recorded message that will show you exactly how to put $10,000 or more in your pocket in the next 10 to 14 days, and then $10,000 or more every 10 to 14 days after that. Now listen, mm. I know that there's a lot of BS out there. But I can tell you, this isn't one of them. Yeah, you are. Right now, if you want to find out exactly how to start putting $10,000 or more in your pocket every 10 to 14 days, I guarantee you've never seen anything like this up until now. So press 3 right now to hear the exact details, or you can press 9 and you'll never hear from me again. That's right. Let me ask you a question. If I can show you an honest, highly productive, 99% done for you business that will pay you thousands of dollars in next day payments delivered direct to your door monthly, weekly, and even daily. I'm talking throughout this fall, throughout the holiday season, and on throughout 2020 and beyond. Would you be interested? Well, I want to strongly encourage you to stay on this entire call and pay close attention for about the next 10 minutes. Because I'm going to tell you about a super easy, highly profitable business that will pay you thousands of dollars at a time in next day payments again and again. And the best part is nice. 99% of the work is done for you. Now, let me be very clear here. This is not information about a job. This is not information about a multi-level marketing program. And this is absolutely not a get-rich-quick business. You see, we are expert marketers in the $100 billion digital education industry. It is a literal gold mine. It's highly profitable. And all of our so products scamming. are so, watch. So our Let's members see. Never have to We're going to call shipping. back this. Let's call. Oh, wait. Let me share my. <laughs> Let me share this first. And we'll call them back. They're just freaking scammers. Call on your phone every day, then they say, push this number and we'll never call you again. They're so full of crap. They're going to call you anyway. Their do not call list is nothing. I can tell you that. All right, I have a lot of groups, so this is going to take a minute. I popped a cough drop because it's cold and I know, my throat is just, my nose is off the chain. <clears throat> okay, here's group. Another group. Oh my god, I have so many groups. I have a lot of groups that people um actually gifted to me. 
It was weird. Like they started startup groups and then they don't even want to um don't even want to keep them anymore, so they give them to me. It's funny. I just put anonymous post anything on all of them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, comment and let me know you're there if you're watching so I can at least talk to you. All right. Share it in all my groups. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we're going to go back and call that number back and see if, if the answer. Let's see. They were calling from Hilliard, Ohio. Now, I bet you it was a spoof number. Let's see. Hello, and thanks for calling back. If you call this number, then I was trying to get in touch with you to invite you to learn about a revolutionary business model. My goal is to reach out to entrepreneurs who know a good thing when they see it. Anyway, that's a scam. Whatever. I'm an entrepreneur, but these, these guys are scams. Let me go back and see which... Uh, Seven six 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 two eight four. Okay, which scammers were these? <clears throat> Scammer group. Okay, my groups are Skimmer Report 1 and 2. Skimmer Report and Skimmer Report 2. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, they claim they're open enrollment. That's this one. Eight four. All right, so I'm gonna block that number and delete it. No. I'm gonna save it. Healthcare schemers. Right next. The West Virginia one.
All right, this last one, I'm going to block it and delete it. I already got kids. Eight two five two. <laughs> All right, I already got that one. Two one eight. All right. So this one was a not a callback number. <sighs> I have called the BBB twice today. Better Business Bureau. Two times today. Eight eight nine four was which? Oh. So there's three healthcare scammer numbers. Hmm. All right. Let's see if anybody answers this number. Spoof number. All right, I don't know who that was, so I'm going to block it and delete it. Block it. Take a picture of it. All right. I'm going to put this in the scammers album. Scam report. Anybody out there? Somebody's watching? Comment. Let me know you're there. Spoof non working number. Okay, so let's get busy calling these, these idiots. Uh, uh, what? Facebook has blocked me again, restricting me. Let's see what it says. You are temporarily restricted from joining and posting in groups that you do not manage until 
November 8th. They make me sick. I posted in two groups that aren't mine. They are so stupid. And if y'all don't want people posting live videos in your group to inform people of scamming or whatever, why do you have a group? It does not make any sense. Especially when it's a real person. I am a real person. I am not a virtual, what do you call it? What are they using? Uh, I'm not a virtual avatar. I'm a real person, so. Yeah, I know those virtual avatars they're scamming people with. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me go share this on my timeline. I hardly ever share my videos on my timeline. I'm do it anyway. All right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Time to call these idiots. We are going to start with the first people who called me, which were Executive Hell. They are scammers. I called the BBB and they confirmed that they are scammers. What they do is they target our elderly, but you know, they scam other people too. And they get all your information, tell you you're signing up for some kind of insurance. And then they sell your uh, personal information to scammers all over the world so that you can keep getting scammed. You know, they can keep calling from different schemes to scam you. Uh, okay, it's eight oh four two three. Here we go. This is Executive Health. We called you because you recently requested more information regarding a new health insurance plan. No, I did not. For us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. If you would like to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. They're so full of it. Please press 1 if you're under the age of 65, or press 2 if over the age of 65. 2. <laughs> Please press 1 That's if you're currently on Medicare, Medicaid, or any governmental assisted programs. Say no. Or press 2 if you're not. Nope. If you're interested in hearing more about final expense life insurance, press 1. Or if not, press 2. Please wait on the line, and a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. Oh Lord, how long are we gonna wait? scamming a lot of people. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the next one. I'll put in the uh, notes and uh, what 
numbers these are for these scammers. This is Executive Health. We called you because you recently requested more information regarding a new health insurance plan. For us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. If you would like okay. to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. Please press 1 if you're under the age of 65, or press 2 if over the age of 65. Nothing else? Let me do the third one. This is Executive Health. We called you because you recently requested more information regarding a new health insurance plan. For us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. If you would like to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. Please press 1 if you're under the age of 65, or press 2 if over the age of 65. Please press 1 if you're currently on Medicare, Medicaid, or any governmental assisted programs, or press 2 if you're not. Please wait on the line, and a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. Good afternoon, Health Benefits. Are you interested in a family or an individual plan? Uh, family? And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, and your state and zip code, please. A state and zip code. Yes. Ohio four three two two nine. And the best callback number for you. Six one four two one eight nine five zero five, which you guys have already. Okay. And is this coverage for yourself? Yes. Okay, and your current age, please? 40. And have you currently used tobacco in the past 12 months? What? Have you used tobacco in the past 12 months? No. Okay, any major medical conditions? No. And your date of birth. What, why do you ask that? Um, because the insurance carrier is going to want them to uh, give a price quote, ma'am. I think you, you guys should be able to give quotes over the phone without asking for birth, uh, date of birth. Well, ma'am, that is the requirement of the insurance carrier. I mean, if we were able to find you a plan, then, of course, you'd have to enroll. There will be information. We would have to verify it as well. What company is this? This is Health Benefits. We work with all the major carriers, ma'am, nationwide. Where is the uh, call center located? Um, our main office is located in Orlando, Florida, and again, we're nationwide in all 50 states, ma'am. Our website, healthpartners.com. Website, par okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip signing up today because I know you guys are scammers. So I've already called the BBB and, um, Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So I have you on Facebook. Yeah, I have you on Facebook Live video. I'd like to know why you are scamming people. Okay.
Hang up. Call back. This is executive help. They should we not ask you for your da date of birth for nothing. New health insurance plan. For us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. If you would like to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. They're scamming people. Ugh. Scamming press elderly. Under the age of 65. Or press 2 with please press 1 if you're currently on Medicare, Medicaid, or any governmental assisted programs. Or press 2 if you're not. Please wait on the line and a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. Hey, thank you for holding. Are you looking for yourself or for your family? Family, uh, what's your name? My name is Mark. Nice Mark. To meet you. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Cheryl. Carol, nice to meet you, Carol. That's a beautiful name. Now, you're looking for your family. How many people are you trying to put under a policy? Five. Okay, would that be you, your husband, and three kids? Yeah. Okay. Husband, wife, three kids. Okay, now I have some information in front of me. Is your last name Foster? You're looking for Loretta Foster, I presume. Well, I'm not entirely sure. When your information popped up in front of me, it said just Foster, which is why I was asking you for your first name. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. You guys keep calling Loretta Foster, and... I have uh, confirmed with the BBB that you guys are scamming people. So, no, we're not. yes, you are, and I have you on live video. So, I would like to know why do you insist on scamming people? Well, uh, first off, we're not doing that. Second off, whoever told you that information doesn't know what they're talking about at all regarding health insurance. Yeah, they do. You're okay. not. You're well, not open enrollment. Maybe you need to find out what company you're really working for. No, I know what company I'm working for. I'm working for Multiplan PCO Network. Oh, let me write that down. You said Multiplan PC Network? Well, I'm just letting you know, Carol. Um, I have to go to work to feed my family, and I don't go to work to waste my time on people that aren't customers. Because you're scamming people. You're scamming people. You're a liar. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are, and you know I'm going to look up that company and everything that goes with it. That's why you're scared. Well... Keep scamming people, but I wish you would be honest and let people know what's really going on. You're just a scamming people. You don't have any evidence of anything. You're just making assumptions. That's called being ignorant. <laughs> you know what? I would be ignorant if I fell for your stupid scam. You are not scamming people. So you are scamming people. Well, the the last call I made, the lady asked for my birth my birth date. You don't you shouldn't be asking people for their birth date. Then you ask for the rest of their information. You you ask for the rest of you don't your phone your phone line isn't even working right. Your phone line isn't even working right. I'm gonna tell you what you do. You take people's information, you put them into your computer. And you guys sell it to other scammers all over the world. That's what you do. This guy's so mad. He's messed up his line. What an idiot. You're an idiot. What a freaking idiot. Oh my God.
He has to feed his family. So he would rather scam people out of the hard earned money. And he's going on and on and on how it's not a scam. They're full of crap. Please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. I don't know why I do this. I have no patience to do this. They tick me off so bad. Please press 1 if you're under the age of 65. Or press 2. Please press 1 if you're currently on Medicare, Medicaid, or any governmental assisted programs. They will manipulate you. They will manipulate you to think they in a scam. Ugh. Please wait on the line, and a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. <laughs> Thanks so much for holding. Are you looking for an individual or a family plan? Family. Okay, a family of how many? Five. Okay, and it looks like we've already spoke with you before. Was there something? Is that correct? What is your or name? Or did you fill out something on the internet? What is your name? My name is Kathy. Kathy. And what company are you with, Kathy? I'm with Top Health. Top Health? Hmm. She hung up because that guy already put me in the computer as, you know. Kathy with Top Health. Let's go do this one now. The first the one I was calling. Dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Or dial 611 for customer assistance. Message DA202TX. Either they blocked me or their number is not working. <laughs> wow. All right. So I'll block it and delete it. <laughs> oh, their number is down. Or either they blocked me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep going on this one. <laughs> Kathy with Top Health. Top health. Right. I had one guy tell me he wasn't with any company. This is executive I was health. like, oh, really? We called you because you recently requested more information regarding a new health insurance plan. <laughs> For us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions using your telephone keypad. If you would like to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. Please press 1 if you're under the age of 65, or press 2 if over the age of 65. Please press 1 if you're currently on Medicare, Medicaid, or any governmental assisted programs, or press 2 if you're not. Please wait on the line, I'm and a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. For a little while, I don't have that much time. Thank you for holding this is Courtney. Are you looking for individual or family plan today? Family. I was actually talking to Kathy with Top Health and uh, we got disconnected. Who am I speaking with now? This is Courtney. Courtney. Now, the, the current agent you're speaking to, um, now, did you guys, did he find you a policy? No, not yet. Uh, Courtney, uh, who? what company are you with? This is Top Health, yes. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Loretta Foster, you guys keep calling me. Okay, and now are you looking for health insurance? Uh, are you guys the open enrollment thing, kind of? Whatever that is. Right, we're health insurance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. I want to know why you, you, you ask people for their birth date. 
Why can't you do it without the birth date? Well, have, you, have you had health insurance before? No. Okay, so let me explain how the process works. In order to find you the right policy, most, well, every provider requires a birth date. Now, what you can do if you feel uncomfortable in giving your birth date, you can give me your birth year and I'll put in a made up birthday, but when it's time to go ahead and purchase the policy, you would have to get your real birth date. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is this uh, Top Health located? We're in South Florida, Boca Raton to be exact. Boca Raton? That is correct. All right, well, thank you so much. How many numbers are we looking to get covered? No, I'm going to call the BBB and uh, confirm with them first. Thank you. Go ahead. And then she hang up. So I'm going to call the BBB. Thank you for calling your BBB. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Please listen closely if our menu options have changed. If you know the extension of the person you are trying to reach, you can dial it at any time. If you are an accredited business, press 2 at any time. For a directory of staff extension, press 3. If you are calling about a complaint, customer review, or scam, press 4. If you are a business interested in more information about accreditation, press 5. If you are a charity or would like information about donating to a charity, press 6. If you would like to schedule a speaker for an event, have a question about your BBB business profile, or are a member of the media, press 7. For our address, hours of operation, website, and fax number, press 8. If you would like to speak to a customer service specialist, press 0. All right, I don't have to call the BBB on this. What I am going to do is I'm going to call Top Health and ask them to uh, confirm the phone numbers. Now, I want to be wrong, but according to the BBB, these are scammers. So, 888-596. Hi, thank you for requesting a health insurance quote. We have licensed professionals standing by to help you find the best plan. If you are under the age of 65, please press 1. If you are over the age of 65, please press 2. If your annual household See, this income is, the is real under company. 30,000, press 1. If your annual household income is under 30,000, press 2. We will now connect you with a healthinsurance.net agent who can give you a quote by phone. Please hold, and someone will be with you shortly. Thanks so much for holding. My name is Josh, and who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi, Josh. Um, my name is Leslie, and this is the uh, Top Health Company, insurance company uh, that I'm calling, right? Uh, this is Assurance. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're Assurance. We're National Enrollment Center for Private Insurance, but I can certainly try to help you. At least you're in the right direction, depending on what you're looking for. Well, the problem is that I have some people calling my phone, and uh, one of the numbers is from West Virginia. The other one is from uh, another place. And um, I've already called the BBB on them, and they are claiming that they are your company. And um, their system, the way they ask the questions, is not the same as I just went through to get to you. Um, and they do ask people's birth dates and their, all their personal information. And um, you guys, uh, where is the Top Health Company located? Uh, 
I'm not even familiar with who Top Health com- who the Top Health company is. To be oh. honest, um, our company, which is Assurance, is headquartered is in Seattle, uh, in the Washington State area. And you said it's called Top Health Insurance. Yeah. Um. I I went to Google and it says Top Health. Oh, Top Health plans coverage, and it gives your number. Oh, I must have read wrong. Well, Top Health Insurance. They do have a Top Health Insurance. But these people claim that they're open enrollment. Have you had anybody calling into your company, Assurance, with uh, telling you guys about that at all? No. Uh, at least I haven't personally, but we have 700 plus agents. So. I can't speak for all of them, but for myself, mm-hmm. I haven't had anybody call me from a company called Top Health, um, and I don't refer anybody to a Top Health. So no, but I mean, agent, so n- what, n- I, what I mean is, have you had anybody call in and say that um, people are calling them, uh, claiming that they are your company, but they're really not your company? They're just like scammers. Have you had any anybody calling like that? I, I haven't personally. Okay. Uh, I can't speak for everybody, but I have not run across that yet. Okay. Well, I'm going to do a little more investigating here because, I mean, BBB has already uh, said that they're skimmers, but I was just trying to find the uh, companies that they're claiming that they are. But, I mean, I can't even find the companies in Google. So, I mean, they're they're obviously scammers. And it's sad because they're scamming so many people. Uh all right, well, thank you for your time. I'm sorry about the call, and I hope you, yeah. you know, may be aware yeah, no, of totally stuff. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll definitely keep my ears open, for sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Top Health Insurance Company. They're scammers, guys. They are not even. This is sad. Like, and they try to manipulate you into uh, thinking that they're not scammers, and they really are. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, nothing in Google for top health. Nothing, nothing at all for this company. Like you would think it would be a a legit company. Let me try executive health insurance company. Mm-mm. You know what? Healthcare market exchange, healthcare market uh, dot exchange is real. First family insurance is real. All these have eight five five and eight seven seven numbers, but you can tell these companies are legit. Let me do something. I know what to do. Health Registration Department, Jay speaking. Are you looking for an individual or a family plan? Uh, I have a question. Can you um, confirm a couple of numbers for me, please? Numbers? Yes, um, phone numbers. No, ma'am. You, you called in to us. 
Yeah, I know. Do you have a supervisor? Uh, well, I, I'm the floor supervisor here. Oh, awesome. Are you looking to get out of the system? Because I can always put you on the do not call list. No, what I'm looking for is to uh, bag these scammers that keep calling my phone and other people. And I found your... Okay. I mean, where you... Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I understand where you're coming from. You mm -hmm. called in to us. We only have your number because you called in to us. But did you, by any chance, submit an application for health insurance? No. I need a couple of numbers confirmed by your company. Go ahead with the numbers. Great. Eight, Go ahead with the numbers. 804-203-8894. Second one is... That's not ours. Okay. Second one Go is 304-918-5889. Okay, that's not ours either. Thank you so much. I've already called the BBB on these numbers, and they're using uh, Executive Health, uh, Winstone Health, and Top Health. Are those three companies okay, so that you guys you claim? Are, if you, no, we're not. We work through... We work through Obamacare and private plans. We don't work with any type of companies like that. What I would do, though, if right. I were you, just uh, just as a suggestion, uh -huh. um, answer them legally. If you say put me in the do not call list, they will have to, do, they do by law have to do that. They but don't do, do it. Not tell them that. Yeah, they don't do it. I, I, I scam bait a lot, and they don't do it. They, they don't do okay. that. Yeah, I started scam baiting so, yeah, because, I mean, just, just yeah. Yeah, I mean, then, then in that case, then yeah, I mean, but those are not numbers. Uh, those are not numbers associated with us. Okay, I really appreciate your uh, time, your patience, and your, um, you know, doing that for me. Okay, well, you have a great day. All right, thank you. You as well. Thank yeah. you. All right, bye bye. All right. So yes, they are scammers. They are claiming that they're Executive Health, Winstone Health top health and open enrollment people, the real ones are not working with any of these companies at all. So these are scammers and <clears throat> too many people are getting scammed out of their information. They're asking for their birth dates. They're asking for all their personal information. And when they do this, it goes into a system. They go and they sell it to scammers all over the world and you're going to start getting call after call after call of different companies and stuff and you heard it that crazy guy that went just nuts and then his line was just sounding stupid what do you say he has to feed his family bs if you want to feed your family get a good job get a job where you're not scamming innocent people I'm so tired of these idiots. They manipulate you into thinking that they're real. They manipulate you into um, feeling sorry for them. I feel not sorry for these people. Not the least tiniest bit at all. At all. I really don't feel sorry for them. And when you ask them to put you on a do not call list, they don't do it. He says legally they have to. They're illegal. They're freaking working illegal. They're illegal scammers. They don't care. The only reason why they have that option on their line is to make it sound like they're a legit company. And they are not legit companies. So I'm going to um, edit this video with the phone numbers that they have given me and then I will give everybody the legit numbers that they need to call. And if you already have an insurance company, you should have a, a, a card that they sent you. On the back of your card is going to have your, um, your company's phone number. So if you need to uh, renew your insurance for next year, then go ahead and call the number on the back of your card. Don't, don't give in to these scammers that are calling you up claiming that they're open enrollment and they can sign you up for health insurance, blah, 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 because it's, it, it's a huge scheme going on out here.
People are getting DNA test kits from their own insurance companies. They are not, don't send them back in. Call your company as soon as you get one of them kits. If you get a kit that says uh, that they need you to, uh, that they need you to uh, send in your urine or feces uh, samples, don't send that in. Call your company, uh, talk to them first, ask them to um, confirm whether they sent that kit or not. And if they didn't, then ask to talk to the fraud department. You call the fraud department and talk to them. I've already been through it with United Healthcare and another friend. She's been through it with her insurance company. So uh, I called United Healthcare and they confirmed to me that they had never sent that kit out, which was for um, a sample of, uh, for me to send back a sample of my feces and urine. Uh, so I called the company and they said that they confirmed that they had never sent that out. And then I called the fraud de department and I talked to the fraud department. The fraud department said that uh, they had just made a while back a bunch of arrests of people who were uh, sending out DNA kits to their clients. Now, something is wrong. Something is really wrong and it needs to be fixed. And I don't know how they're going to fix it, but something needs to be done. Something needs to be fixed. So I've gotten three names of Executive Health Windstone or Widestone Health and Top Health. Um, as far as the Ohio MPA group goes, I wanted to make it a closed group. Unfortunately, Facebook is only making, uh, it only gives you two options. Either you have it public or you have it private. So I had to go ahead and make the group private. Now this doesn't mean that everybody come up in there and all of a sudden start posting your needs because people outside the group can't see anymore who you are and what you're coming up and posting in because I've seen a lot of groups, a lot of the closed groups, and this is what y'all do. You know, like you block people, people that know you're a scammer or people that know that you do this more often than not and that you're not right and you go up in those groups and you're asking for all kinds of stuff and having people take you stuff etc cetera, etc cetera. and then i have to find out later you know all that kind of mess or whatever i'm not wasting my time this year if you're a scammer if you are a notorious you know repeat offender on facebook with doing this to people don't come up in our group doing that i'm telling you right now don't come up in our group doing that because you know why because I will put your name all over the place. And almost every group that I have, you will go in my scammers album and people will know who you are because I don't play with that. I'm not playing with all that mess. This year, I better see zero scamming. Zero. No, I expect all this crap scamming from uh, you know people from other countries but <clears throat> i have seen so many u.s people scamming other people and not only the u.s but more western countries you know like uk and that uh, scotland where was that other guy from australia you know Come on, people. We're better than this. Humans are better than this. I'm so tired of putting up with the scamming. It's probably never going to stop, and I'll tell you what. One of the scammers told me personally, do you want scamming to stop, or do you want scamming to slow down? I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm doing my, what I'm doing. 
He says, well, tell your people to stop sending us money. Stop sending money, people. Stop answering these phone calls if you're not scam baiters and telling them all your information. <clears throat> Either don't answer or answer and let them know that, you, that they're scammers. Eventually, their numbers will get shut down because not all people are naive and ignorant like they want to say we are, you know? Who's ignorant today? I know I'm not. The guy, now he's ignorant. He probably knows he's scamming people. But he claims that he's not scamming nobody and he has to feed his family. Yeah. Right. You know what? That The only reason why I did a live video today, because I have a lot to do today. So the only reason why I did a live video today was to get that out because that's three different numbers today that called me talking about they are open enrollment for insurance. And I want to say this. Obamacare is still out here. Obamacare has not been stopped by Trump. I can say that Trump hasn't done nothing to stop Obamacare. There's not even a wall, people. There's never going to be a wall. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not into politics anymore. I gave up on Obama after two years. I could care less. After he did that crap, after all that crap, I gave up on politics. Who cares who's president anymore? You know why? Because none of them are any good. And then all these clowns running for president. Good luck with that, people. And with that, I'm out.